Hey, it's Tony with the Code Guys. I'm going to show you how I have um, linked my two builds together with a very large um, elevated train track. Um, you will see that it's just a one block elevated track with a mine cart and some powered rails. You can see the red um, is the powered um, redstone push, uh, cart push. This is elevated all the way across my build and um, I use this to quickly go from one section to the, the next. Uh, it's about 10-15 blocks up. Here's the main su suspension bridge that goes over to my other um, build. <clears throat> it took quite a long time uh, to get all the materials that I needed for this uh, track but um, I'm not using any sort of uh, cheats I'm just pretty much keeping it pure but uh, yeah so um, I'll show you how I designed it I have these shorter um, hill hills that um, power me to the first or, or that uh, use gravity to the first uh, power block and then um, the rest are just spaced out and it powers me along um, every, <clears throat> I just timed it to where um, when the cart starts slowing down there's another power block um, so and then when it comes around this corner there's a fairly substantial hill it has to go up so I uh, put three or four powers up the hill and that gets me to my uh, mining facility which is I'll show you how that works there is a tower um, and if I jump down this tower I don't want to here I'll hit shift and look down it there's a very long well I fell anyways there's a very long shaft that I fall into that gets me into my mining facility. And it basically is a um, pool of water that I jump down into. I'll show you. See, it's a four by four pool with a very long ladder that gets me to the surface so I can quickly jump down. Um, there's my portal to the nether and um, I have a, a rather large mining operation down here that um, goes on for I don't know many chunks 